We know this vaccine rollout can be confusing, so we have resources to help you navigate it all and to help you register for the vaccine. It's at our website, cbsdenver.com. New at six, this week's snow was uh, certainly a needed shot of water in the mountains, but not close to being enough to pull Colorado out of this drought. Yeah, dry conditions are fuel for our wildfires. We all know that. Well, now a Colorado congressman is issuing a call to action. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us live in Boulder County tonight. And Sean, Joe Goose heard from Coloradans impacted by the fires today. Hey, Karen, two of the state's biggest wildfires happened in his district last year. One of them I could see from my deck here in Boulder County. So today, Nagoose assembled some of the state's top brass, including the governor and both U.S. senators, for what he called a virtual listening session. He invited anyone with concerns to show up and provide feedback. More than 800 Coloradans joined the call. It burned to the ground on September 7th. On Labor Day. One after another, Coloradans whose homes have been lost and lives devastated by wildfire shared their stories and I frustration. Mean, we have no idea what to do because the, the entire mountain to the south of our property is burned to a crisp. And state leaders listened and promised action. We lost our home in Estes Park in 2012, but we still uh, are suffering from our insurance uh, problems. I uh, stand ready to try to engage my counterpart in the cabinet, uh, Mike Conway with the Division of Insurance, to get him more engaged with all of us on this wildfire conversation. More than 620 homes and at least two lives were lost in last year's fires, and some worry this year could be worse. And the majority of evacuation routes in the WUI are one way in and one way out, and they have trees growing right along the roadways, making them non-survivable if there was a catastrophic wildfire. The state's public safety director committed to more evacuation drills, and Congressman Joe Nagu says he is pushing for $50 billion to create a 21st century conservation corps to address forest mitigation. Really reimagining the Civil Conservation Corps of the 1930s. Incremental changes to the Forest Service budget are not going to get us where we need to be. Nagus and Senator Michael Bennett say they have secured millions of dollars for watershed protection and restoration and introduced legislation to provide grant money to help homeowners and local communities recover. And it is clear many are desperate for help. This is just overwhelming. And Governor Polis says he has asked the state legislature to provide funding too, including $11 million for forest mitigation and $4 million for watershed restoration. Live in Boulder County, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Sean, thank you so much.